Who doesn't love an asymmetrical hot mess of a tactic on Football Manager? I asked you guys to send me your craziest FM24 tactics and today I'm going to share with you five of them. Five of the most visually unappealing tactical setups that you are ever likely to see with the small requirement that they actually, actually work, apparently. We start with this hot mess, courtesy of our good friend Stephen. Thank you very much for sharing your Gutman's goal scoring Eagles tactic, which has, of course, I mean, going by the name, been inspired by Bella Gutman's Benfica team of the past. He's doing a Benfica save with this side here, which looks outrageously good. Some of the players that you've got in your team there, I love it. Like Lamine Yamal on that left hand side with Esposito and Rago and Bargi and Jao Neves and. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Even Valentin Barco is the complete wing back on this side here. Looking at the tactic, though, in itself, I'm actually going to do a quick pick with my Paris FC side here just to see who would get selected in the different roles. It's, um, it's an interesting setup, isn't it? Now, Stephen, when describing this tactic, says it's an uber attacking 3-2-3-2 shape that is used to just get everyone bar the centre backs, one of the DMs and the goalkeeper forward as much as possible. So you've got Basically, the centre-backs, the keeper, and then just this guy on the as a DLP staying back, these four, and then everybody else bombing forward, which is just good fun, isn't it? Especially when you've got, like, wonder kid strikers and attacking players, as Steven does have in his Benfica save. He says, the results have been great so far. I'm very strong domestically, winning pretty much, if not every trophy, trophy in his three seasons in charge so far. The aim is to break the Gutman curse and win the Champions League by not... Uh, by doing so, by winning with kids to stick to not only Gutman, but also Alan Hansen, which is always a fantastic reference, isn't it? You can't win anything with kids. Uh, apparently, or hopefully, that's not going to be the case for Steven here. Let's have a look at the instructions on here. So it's an attacking mentality with the instructions for in possession fairly wide. We've got shorter passing, underlaps going on rather than overlaps, which is quite fun, isn't it? Running at defence, lots of really quick tempo. Low crosses. I, I always kind of go for low crosses because even though you select low crosses, they're just the normal high crosses that happen anyway. And this one seems to get better results. Just a weird, weird quirk in the match engine, I think. Um, I never go for these floated ones. The low crosses seems to be the most effective. They do more of the like cutbacks along the floor, but also they still cross normally as well, even with that instruction. In trans transition, we've got counter press counter, distribute quickly, and then rolling it out from the back and then out of possession. Quite a lot of instructions on the tactic. A much higher defensive line and then a high line of uh, engagement here, like high press for the shape too. So really pushing up that defensive line nice and high. No offside trap, which is interesting. I suppose that's done by the high line anyway. We are preventing short goalkeeper distribution and triggering the press, press much more often. Getting stuck in, which will get you yellow cards always, but it's something that I always use on my tactics as well. It means that you are better, even if you get lots of yellows. All of my tactics that you will see me using in all of my saves will have so many yellow cards, but it's a byproduct of being able to win lots of games. And then stepping up more in terms of the defensive line. Pretty standard, I would say, for that. The shape is really interesting. And the roles that we've got. We've got this left back that bombs on, which is Valentin Barco for Steven. A Segundo Valente alongside this DLP. This deep line playmaker is one of the guys set to stay back with his uh, defensive work rate or mentality. This Rooney Bargi winger, which is starting from slightly deeper, it basically is playing the role of right in this tactic. You've got high responsibility for whoever plays on this side. Who is it playing on in your team there? It is Rooney Bargi, actually, interestingly, playing in Steven's team, which is quite fun, especially because he's left-footed, right? Playing on this right-hand side, I suppose. I've seen a lot of people using wingers, even with right-footed on the left-hand side and left-footed on the, the right-hand side, even if just they are playing as a winger role. Um, seems to work quite nicely, actually. Maybe because of the positional play on this year's game, not quite sure. An attacker midfielder here, an inside forward on the left-hand side, allowing for this left-back to bomb up and down. You would probably suppose this guy coming in to make a front three, and then with an attacker midfielder just behind, I would say. Uh, and then two advanced forwards, which I always like, two advanced forwards too. On Steven's tactic, you can actually see that there's a nice little weird, like, off-centre triangle link-up between these three players here, which is, which is always nice, isn't it? Anyway... I like the look of it. What do you guys think of Steven's tactic? I will put the links to the tactics available to download in the pinned comment of today's video. I will also upload all of them to the Clatreon along with loads of other save files and tactics and anything basically that you want to download from my saves over there too. Quick plug for the Clatreon. If you want to get involved, come and get involved. I would uh, very much appreciate you doing so. You also get your name at the end of the videos 
which is yeah. a nice little thank you to you guys. Let's move on to our second tactic. Next up, I'm going to go for a tactic that on first appearance doesn't look like the most crazy of tactics. I'm very aware of this. Thank you to Beyond for sharing your 4231 Super Eagle. Now, I know what you're thinking. A 4231, that's not crazy. It's not even asymmetrical. I, I understand. However, I do think it's worthwhile sharing with you because of some of the strange role selections that Beyond has made in his save here. Now, in his save, it's 2028 and he's currently at uh, Brentford. However, this is called the 4231 Super Eagle because Beyond was formerly at... Benfica. That's why it links quite nicely to the last save as well. Another super eagle type. Um, look at this career, by the way. Benfica, Man City, back to Benfica, then to Real Madrid for a season, then Man City, and now Brentford. Um, outrageous. Lots of title wins as well. Maybe down to this tactic here. 4 2 3 1. Again, not the most enterprising of formations or shapes. However, let's just look at the roles um, and, and see why this one is an interesting one. So sweeper keeper, fine. Defense, fine. Fullbacks is a weird one. Don't see many people using fullbacks. I feel like wingbacks is most common. However, that's pretty standard, isn't it? The midfield too, though. Two defensive midfielders, both ball winning midfielders. Now, I don't think I've ever used two ball winners Together, two Italians as well in this team here, Cassidy and Ravella, both in there winning the ball back all day long, it would seem, on a support mentality too. Seems really weird, and I guess that's why it makes this list of tactics that I'm sharing today. In front of them, you've got Baldanzi, just an attacking midfielder and an advance forward. And then, all of the playmaking in this tactic comes from two advanced playmakers on either wing, set to attack... It's Anthony Corden and Brian Mbuemo in this save here, although I've just done a quick pick, so it might be slightly different players on here, but two advanced playmakers out wide is a really weird one. Um, now, what does Beyond say about this in terms of their results? He says, the reason this is so weird is the use of the AP as a winger uh, role, along with there being a double ball-winning midfielder pivot, as we've mentioned before. The results have been exceptional with an insane amount of dominance over Portugal, along with quite a few upsets as well as in Europe against huge huge sides. I think he's talking about his Benfica time with that one specifically. It's a very out there tactic but also makes for some exciting football to watch with the right players will bag goals for fun. Let's have a look at the results then so far in this season just to see if it's backed up. I guess there's not much going on there. Let's go back to last season. Were you, I don't even know if he was here last season. Let's have a look at these though. 2-0 win against Leeds, 4-2 win against Liverpool. That's pretty interesting. 3-0 against Fulham. Did lose at Old Trafford to Manchester United though so I mean, overall, though, those are good results. But not a crazily overpowered Brentford team, I think you'd say here. This is not the strongest of Brentford sides yet. Perhaps you'd, you'd maybe agree with. There is Endrick on the bench, though. Maybe you'd bring him in somewhere. Not sure. Either way, if you wanted to switch up how you're using your 4 2 3 1 and see it play in a different way with these advanced playmakers, I think it'd be a really interesting one to go and explore in the match engine. Maybe you want to go for Beyond's 4 2 3 1 Super Eagle tactic, which will be in the comments, the pinned comment down below the stream for you to go and download if you wanted to. Let's have a look at our third tactic of today. Something slightly weirder in terms of shape. Next up, we have this here, which is a little bit more like it, at least in terms of having a weird shape. In fact, this might be the most crazy tactic in this uh, selection from today's video because just having a look at these roles, this is this one is wild and it is courtesy of Basie Boy or Bassy Boy. Um, that's a little bit more fish like basically boy. I'm going to go with this. Thank you very much for submitting this tactic known or la labeled titled the 244 iterated V3 version three at the moment. I dread to think what versions one and two look like. If I do a quick pick here with my Paris FC team, you can straight away see just how weird this is here. It's got two liberos at the back, which is already wild. Two segundo volantes alongside a regista. If this one works, this is just... I can't even imagine what it's going to look like in the in the match engine. You've got a Trekatista on the right and a round Deuter on the left and then a cent, uh, complete forward as the striker. And an inside inverted wing back, I should say, with a complete wing back on the other side. I feel like if there was a checklist of like weird things to include in a tactic, I feel like this ticks every single box, except for the fact that it's not... Uh, asymmetric. If you maybe put like the Trekatista there, I feel like you, you're, you're onto an even bigger winner. But anyway, it scores highly in crazy points, I will say. Let's see what Basie Boy says about this one. He says he's been using it with CSC de Cayenne, a team in French Guyana, to try and win the Champions League with them by, by qualifying for the Europa League through the Coupe de France, which is a really fun um, save 
challenge, I want to say, because they're in French Guyana. They can actually play in the French Cup. Because they can play in the French Cup, they can win the French Cup, which qualifies them for the Europa League. And because they then play in the Europa League, they can win the Europa League, which can then qualify them for the Champions League. It's an outrageous way of doing it. I uh, I don't know how far he's got with it, but um, good luck to him playing this system as well. It says, results have been overwhelmingly positive, and it is weird in the sense that the winger is the only traditional role in the team. There's not even a winger. It says the wing is the only traditional role in the team. The one that I'm looking at, Basie Boy, you may have changed from this, doesn't even have a winger. It's got a Trekatista. Um, so certainly, yeah, not non-traditional. Maybe the complete wing back is what he's thinking about. Either way. Uh, one on defend and... Oh, additionally, I've opted for two liberos. One on defend, one on support. As um, as you can see here, the Lenny Yoro for me would be the defensive one on the right-hand side. And allowing for a sweeper in defence who will always fill in for the Volante, giving us a 2-3-5 in the attacking phases and a 2-5-3 to essentially a 5-2-3 in defensive phases. Yeah, okay, that can kind of make sense. But due to the recovery speed of the Volantes, we win possession back incredibly early and high up the pitch. Which I want to say actually, out of possession, what does it look like? It's actually not a high press either. A standard defensive line with a high line of engagement. An interesting split between these two. In transition, what are we up to here? Uh, holding shape when possession has been won, which is quite an interesting one, rather than countering. And then taking short kicks, distributing to these centre-backs, the liberos, to try and make the play from the back. In possession, lots of instructions on this. Fairly wide. Oh, So an overlap on the left and an underlap on the right is there's your asymmetricalness, if you like. Work the ball into the box, floated crosses, which I said in the last tactic, I didn't really like there, but there we go. Slightly lower tempo, so really tick ticky tackering it about. Be more expressive and dribbling less, playing for set pieces not selected. In the match engine, says Basie Boy, it allows for incredible passing lanes through the Regista and the Volantes, which act as superior box-to-box -box mid midfielders with defensive awareness as a bonus. We always have one or two players who are moving and who can be played in. It's a beautiful tactic in game i can imagine the positional play of this could be quite something quite a sight to behold if you want to go and try it the link to the tactic is in that pinned comment down below thank you to basie boy for sending it through it's certainly an interesting one i would uh, i'm kind of intrigued to go and try it myself anyway let's move through to tactic number four Okay, next up, we have this here submitted by Custard. Thank you, buddy, for submitting this tactic for today's video. It is listed and titled as Thanos, and it has the tactical style, which is custom Grogu. Now, I think this is based upon a uh, a creator's tactic. I want to say GYRs. I'm not particularly au fait with all of the tactical scene in FM Football Manager 2024 and beyond and before that, but I do recognize the names of these. So I'm assuming that this is a tweak of an already overpowered tactic, which would make a lot of sense if any of the other ones previously are as well. And those are tactics that are already out there. Uh, one, uh, sorry to those people too. I don't really um, mind or care particularly too much because do you know what? Do whatever you want. This isn't a, this is the best tactic in Football Manager video. This isn't me taking any credit for any of these tactics. This is me simply sharing what you guys have shared with with me and hopefully you can see that the the tone and the way that we're presenting this is a little bit different if you want to try these go for it um if you don't then you know all, all so be it i i feel like this is based upon i'm sure gyr has a grogu or a thanos tactic so maybe this is based on that with the roles or the positioning and the shape changed a little bit maybe the instructions are the same either way we're going to have a look at it today and, and break it down. I'm sure if you search for these things, you could find them. Thank you to Custard for sharing this one. He says he has been using it with Farrell Constanta, who are a Romanian team uh, in the Romanian top division. He's doing a build a nation save, trying to get Romania to become a European powerhouse, as you would expect. He says he's experimented with 442s, 443s, 4222s, and a few variations in between. And then he's ended up coming up with this here. He says it's been very successful. Let's have a look at some of these roles in here. Let's see. We've, we've got wing, but the defense is pretty normal, to be honest. We've got an inverted wing back at right back. Again, we've got this right-hand side player. For us, it's going to be Rooney Bargy again here, who kind of plays all the way down this right-hand side as maybe Tobias tucks in on this side. Another Segundo Volante. I wonder, is that the most overpowered role in this year's game? I feel like it might be. Roman Playmaker is one that we've not seen so far, but is fun. Attacking midfielder. In behind a false nine and an advance forward, which is great fun. He has shown me and sent me actually here, Custard, what it looks like in attack, in what shape it creates um, in game in attack, which is apparently something like this, which, yeah, it's quite attacking, isn't it? I can see why you might score a lot of goals with this one. Um, yeah, 
Let's have a look at these instructions. I feel like they might be very closely linked to the uh, to the downloadable tactic that was that is named here. Um, but just to see, we've got that high tempo, playing out of defence, passing into space, run out of defence and be more expressive, work the ball into the box. There's those low crosses again. In transition, distribute into the centre-backs, rolling it out, counter-press, counter-distribute quickly, then out of possession. That standard defensive line, again, get stuck in, is selected. I would always go for that one myself. Attacking mentality. Not loads of attacking mentality players, actually. The attacking left back who plays left on this side, when he gets forward here, he becomes, well, apparently, go. Uh, I don't think he moves there. He's probably this winger here in this tactic, isn't he? Uh, and then you've also got the winger on the right-hand side is attacking, and then the striker is attacking. Everyone else's support with these two defensive ones at centre-backs here. Very attacking in terms of its mentality. And apparently it's worked because he's won the league for the past seven years, reached the semi-final of the Champions League with the Romanian team in the quarterfinals twice. He has often 75% possession in the league, 60% in most European games, and with the, most of his midfielders end up on 10 goals or assists. 10 goals plus assists with strikers 20 goals and assists. Super fun tactic that's helped helped his team get close to the European glory, says Custard. Thank you very much for sharing. Let's move through to our fifth and final tactic of today's tactical showcase of these weird and wonderful tactical setups. Come on. Okay, our final tactic in today's crazy FM24 tactic video is submitted or has been submitted by our good friend Pav. Now, if you know, you know. But let me show you what he has sent us here. It is. This four triple two shaft. Now I'm not going to ask him why he's called it that. And you guys, you can probably work it out yourself. But this weird looking column like tactic is apparently ridiculously overpowered. A four triple two with two defensive midfielders in behind two Metzalas. It also creates this really weird like X type relationships lines, which is something I've never seen before as a, as a midfield. I can just imagine what it's like in terms of that positional play in that midfield too. You've got it here being tested with Manchester City. So it's not really one that Pav's been using in a save, but just one that he knows how to create a tactic that will get the best out of the match engine. He's tested it with Manchester City here and definitely something to to show you is the fact that Erling Haaland has scored 81 goals with it. Now Erling Haaland might score 81 goals with most tactics, but maybe 81 is pushing it a little bit. Just 81 goals in the league there from Erling Haaland. 54 in the league, I should say. Let's not be silly. Uh, he's also got 18 in the Cup and 9 in the Champions League. 81 in 46 starts for our boy Erling. Alongside Alvarez up front, it's an advanced forward with a complete forward. These Metzalas, these DMs, complete wingbacks at the uh, wingback spot. Ball playing defenders and then a sweeper keeper in Edison. These are the instructions. Pretty, um... Pretty weird, actually, if you have a look at them. Focus the play through the middle, but you've got these overlaps on the right-hand side. Hitting these early crosses, mixed crosses, high tempo, be more expressive, run at the defence. In transition, you've got counter-press and counter, distributing out to all of the defenders, taking short kicks. Now, I know it's going to be get stuck in. It is, it's actually not. It's actually stay on feet for tackling. That's very interesting from you, Pav. Uh, much higher defensive line than the high press as well. This four triple two. If you are one that doesn't want to use wingers, maybe this is something you could go for. Definitely effective. It's won the Premier League here by getting 96 points. Four losses in there, three draws, but 31 wins. I can imagine lots of these wins are going to be by a lot. Yeah, Sheffield United 7 0. Sorry about that, Sheffield United. Did lose 5 2 to Leipzig in the Champions League semi final. This would have been simulated as well. So maybe it would have been better if they'd been played, etc. 7 0 win against Chelsea there. I want to see actually how many. How many shots? I can't see it. It's too long ago. I want to see actually one of these these games here. How many shots are being taken in them? Maybe this 4-2 win against Manchester United. Let's just see how dominant it was in terms of the stats. Yeah, that kind of sums it up. 5.47 XG uh, up against they only had two shots on target. Did actually have as well 1.25 XG, but one of them was a penalty. They did go down to 10 men in three minutes. Maybe that's why for this particular one. Foden playing as a striker there. Look, no, no Haaland in this game. And they still won. 4-2 and had 27 shots. If you want to go for it though, the link to the 4 triple two shaft is in the description, the pinned comment, sorry, of today's video. It's also in the description too, but you know, that's by the by. If you want to go and try any of these tactics, feel free to go and do so. You can find more of this type of stuff over on the Claytron as well. If you want to go and support me over there, I would really appreciate it. And if you don't want to pay any money to me, which is, you know, fair enough, you could subscribe to the channel. We're aiming... 75,000 subscribers right now, which would be a really cool milestone to go and hit. If you like these types of videos, let me know what you want to see next as well. Maybe we'll go and find, um, maybe not tactics, but maybe the best teams or things like that. We've done these things before, but I love, I love sharing 
your stuff here on the channel. Maybe we'll go do that again in the future. Thanks for watching today, though. Have a lovely rest of your day. Leave a like on the video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.